You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Sports. Well, it's been a very long time since I've had to use CNN as a source. I can't think of the last time, to be quite honest with you. It's been over a year. <laughs> it's been at least a year. Uh, but for the sake of this video, we're going to use CNN as a source. And Brittany Griner is in a lot of trouble. The WNBA star, Baylor alumni, Phoenix Mercury player, is in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. And now they've come out and said, a lawmaker has said it's going to be very, very difficult to get Brittany Griner back. It's not clear exactly when the U.S. basketball star Brittany Griner was arrested in Russia on drug charges. But family and friends are demanding the two-time Olympic champions release. That's not the way this works, folks. And hundreds of strangers have joined the effort as U.S.-Russia tensions escalate amid Russia's invasion of the Ukraine. Griner, the 31-year-old, is a championship-winning player with the WNBA Phoenix Mercury and spends her offseason playing for a Russian team. A Russian Federal Customs Service said an American at the airport was carrying hash oil. Russia's Interfax News Agency quoted a statement from the Customs Service which did not identify the traveler by name. Quote, as a U.S. citizen passing through the Green Channel at the Shermetvo Airport, spelling, I don't know, upon arriving from New York as a working dog from Customs Canine Department detected a possible presence of narcotic substances in the accompanying baggage, luggage. The customs inspection of the hand luggage being carried by the U.S. citizen confirmed the presence of vapes with specifically smelling liquid. And an expert determined that the liquid was cannabis oil, hash oil, which is a narcotic substance. The customs, customs agency said the arrest happened in February, but the exact date is not known. New York Times was first to report Griner's arrest. Her whereabouts since the arrest or they're uncertain. Wow, they have no idea where she's at. Griner's ordeal comes as Russian invasion of Ukraine is in its second week. President Putin issued a series of threats Saturday against Ukraine and Western powers, saying the sanctions introduced on his country are the equivalent of a declaration of, declaration of war. A member of the U.S. House Armed Services Committee said, quote, it's going to be very difficult to get Griner out of Russia. Our diplomatic relationships with Russia are non-existent at the moment. Democratic Rep. John Garmendi of California told CNN Monday, perhaps during the various negotiations that may take place, she might be one of the solutions. I don't know. This is where it gets even, the, the plot thickens even more. He also noted that Russia has ver some very, very strict LGBT rules and laws. It's not clear whether those rules and laws might impact Griner's case. Hundreds petitioned for her release. More than 1,000 people have signed the Secure Brittany Griner's Swift and Safe Return to U.S. petition on change.org. Journalist Tamara Sproul who covers women's basketball, started the petition on Saturday. I'm not in a million years sure what that's got to do with uh, trying to get her released. I just don't see how that's going to help. Um, Sproul explained why many female basketball players in the U.S. work overseas. Like many athletes competing in the WNBA, Griner plays abroad during the WNBA offseason because her salary is exponentially higher in other countries. For WNBA players, that means playing abroad, while NBA rookies who haven't played a professional game yet are handed salaries many times higher than that of a title-winning all-star designated WNBA player could ever hope for, the petition reads. Oh, good God. So she turned the position into a gender gap issue. Look, let's get this out of the way. 
The WNBA's revenue generating ability is not nearly what the NBA's is. And that's saying a lot because the NBA's revenue generating ability isn't nearly what it used to be. But the fact is, these uh, television networks will pay for a much larger television contract for actual male NBA players than they will the WNBA players. So, hence, no, those players are not going to make nearly the amount of salary, I mean, my God, that a WNBA player is going to make regardless. I mean, my God, that's ridiculous. But, anyway, that's a... That's a different subject, and it's something that John did a video on the other day. Now, I've got a question about this whole thing. I understand she went over there to try to supplement her income, but you would think carrying a substance over into that country that you know is illegal, a country that we have tensions with anyway, okay? Before there was ever a war, uh, you know, it just wasn't great. Uh, particularly since Trump is no longer in office, okay? Now, he had a relationship with Putin that he could control there. Biden doesn't control shit. He can't control anything, ever. And now you add in the factor that we learned that the LGBT lifestyle that Brittany Griner leads is illegal there? Why in a million trillion years would this basketball player go over there? She couldn't go somewhere else to supplement her income? I mean, that's that was a bad idea by Brittany Griner. And now we're hearing that it looks like she may not be back. She may not come back. She broke a lot of laws. You know, I, I read something yesterday, and I didn't make a video on it, but it was in passing, that she may have bro broken, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten laws. Many, multiple laws over there in Russia. Okay? And um, and depending on the state that you're in, what she did is serious here. Okay? Some states, not so much. You get busted in Texas like that, you're out. your ass is in a bind. That's a fact. Wow. That lawmaker said, we've got no relationship with Russia diplomatically right now. That's a terrible sign for Brittany Griner. They might have to use her as a piece to negotiate involving a, a war with the Ukraine. A, a, a WNBA player. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. She may not be coming back. This is, you know, uh, I, I hate to say it, but, you know, nobody is ever going to say anybody on this channel is pro-Russia. But my God, you got to have some common sense too. You got to have some common sense. If I had to go to Russia, what I'm not going to do is do anything that breaks their laws, because nobody ever might see my white ass again. I'm just being I'm just being honest with you. My redneck ass would be gone forever. The only reason that this is even a thing is because she's an entitled, privileged WNBA player. Otherwise, if this was a regular citizen. Nobody would give a shit in the dip, in the Democratic Party, that's for sure. You want to know how I know? Ask people left behind in Afghanistan right now. Oh, not a WNBA player. Gotcha. Just saying. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Am I being too harsh? It is what it is, I guess. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.